y'all welcome back to my channel i know it has been a minute oh if you click the thumbnail you know why we're here um i just wanted to do a life update y'all i recorded this video already and i didn't post i didn't like it I was just too emotional to just sit and talk. So I'm gonna like insert a clip of what I was, <laughs> of what I recorded so y'all can see. Like I was just too emotional. Total recovery, full recovery, full recovery. Not just to recover. I want full recovery. I want to be back the way I was before I got hit. And I think that is, I, I know that also plays in my mental because in the back of my head, I'm like, one, how long will this take and will I ever be back? Because, you know, you hear people talk about when they have leg injuries, like when it rain, their legs start hurting. When it get cold, it start hurt. Like, and y'all, that, I do not want that. Y'all, I do not want that. I do not want that. I don't want, like, prolonged issues. And I know that happens. I know that happens. I know that happens. But, y'all, I do not want that. Like a sound. Like, I, I didn't see sound. So, um, I definitely wanted to get on here. And just give an update. So if you click the thumbnail, then of course you know why we're here. Why um why I'm here, what happened? Um today we're like October. Today is like what October what? Today is October 13th. And last month on September 4th, um, after walking out of Whole Foods, my sister and I, um, I got hit by a car. And y'all like okay that's like first of all i can't even believe i'm saying it like i got hit by a car not like a car hit me like in a car like my body a moving car hit my body like that's like that's crazy like just even think of, like even say like it still doesn't hit me like when i go to the doctor when i go to an um right when i go to physical therapy like even she was like like when they do my leg when they laser my leg at therapy they're like you're blessed like a car hit my body y'all and um y'all like it, it, okay so that happened on september 4th um i am currently at home recovering right now i'm currently icing my leg because basically what's going on with me now is i had um i fractured the head of my fibula, which is wh where my knee, my knee meets. So I have a fracture there. I have a huge like bump, which is, they call, it's called a leg hematoma, which is nothing but a bruise. It's like a big raised bruise. That is what doctors mistaken when, um, when, okay, when I first got hit, they immediately rushed me to the nearest trauma ER. Y'all, I'm trying to stay like sane, but it's just so hard. Like, like not even recalling it, but it's just like so much happened. Okay. So walking out of Whole Foods, I was hit by a car. Um, I hit the ground as soon as I got hit. And this happened on a Sunday. It was the day before Labor Day and just so happened I literally, it happened, like, I literally walked out the door underneath their covered area where you, there's, like, benches and stuff, um, benches, and there's, like, little tables where you can sit and eat, um, there was so many people outside, it made a loud crash, so many people ran over, my sister was with me, um, and the next day, I know while I'm laying there, I just hear my sister screaming, and that's, like, something that triggers me, like, she's just screaming. Like, not screaming, like, ah, like, she's crying. She's hysterical. My sister was just hysterical. And then I, you see so many, so many people ran over to me that were, like, concerned. Like, this one old lady was like, don't move your head. Keep still. Don't move. Like, she was like, do not move. And um, there was this one lady, like, I, I and then I start hearing people, yeah, immediately I start hearing people, like, grab their phones and call the police. And this one lady and her husband or boyfriend, whatever, she stood over me. And she was like, please just breathe, just breathe. She was like, don't go to sleep, breathe. And she's just, like, trying to talk to me or whatever. And I'm just laying there. And at that moment, like, it's so much. It was so much going on. Like, I hear people on the phone, like, with, with 911. I hear my sister screaming and hollering. I hear somebody's like, who's this for? Who's this for? 
So long story short, like y'all, I got hit so hard that um, I had my phone in my hand because I had used that. I didn't know this. I learned this. Do you know that now you can get discounts at Whole Foods if you're an Amazon Prime customer? I know that's random, but I just thought I'd throw that in there. So I had my phone out because I just used it to get a discount. And um, she hit me so hard, my phone flew out my hand. My phone flew out my hand. My purse flew out my my arm. I had my purse under my arm. My purse flew out my arm, which is why I had so much bruising on my arm. Um, which has that has definitely it has gone down, y'all. Like it was so bad. It has gone down a lot. Um, I've been drinking nothing but pineapple juice. Like I've been. I think I have gulped so much pineapple juice this past month. I'm surprised I'm not a pineapple myself. Like, <laughs> y'all, pineapple juice has been a staple in my refrigerator like that's something that constantly i'm ordering or whenever someone does my grocery for me i'm like hey just pick up an extra can of pineapple juice for me so um yeah so she hit me so hard like my phone flew on my hand and broke um because these iphones are made of glass my purse um flew and i didn't class my purse um because i just put stuck my wallet in there so everything in my purse flew my she uh, I had on sandals. I flew out my sandals. <laughs> um, it's not funny, but you know, just staying out it like, damn, like you got hit that hard, right? Um, yeah. So immediately, like the um the ambulance came and they rushed me to the nearest trauma ER. And that the ambulance worker that I said I mean the EMT person that they wouldn't let my sister my sister didn't get to ride with me in the ambulance I don't know why but it was just me and the EMT worker he was the most paid like if there's anything I remember I remember his kindness like I was hollering okay so while I'm laying there let, let me before okay so there's so many people over me there's so many people there like there there's so many people when I go back and I look at the footage because my sister was with me she ended up staying behind she couldn't ride in the ambulance um so many people were at, like she exchanged numbers with people so after the fact like um when we finally got discharged from the er because our phones died we were in the emergency room so long they were they they didn't want to discharge me because they wanted to make sure i guess they diagnosed me properly or whatever i don't know it was labor day but um it took a while for them to diagnose i mean to like discharge me i mean when they finally discharged me, we had been in the emergency room all day. Both our phones were dead. <laughs> we had dead iPhones. So when my sister's phone, when we got to the car and the charger and all that, that's when we started getting all these messages, like the pictures and stuff like that. So, um, what is, so, okay, so I'm on the ground. I remember on the ground and I just remember hearing my sister scream. And I remember this, this little old lady, she kept saying, don't move, honey, don't move. Don't move. Like, this lady wanted to make sure I didn't move. <laughs> and there was another young lady, like I said, and her boyfriend was just like, she was like, trying to keep me calm. The old lady telling me don't move. The other lady's like, keep calm. Like, stay awake, please. And I just hear a lot of chatter. I hear someone say, oh, my God, her leg. And y'all, I, I didn't feel pain. I don't think I felt pain when I laid there. I was okay at that moment. And then um, I just remember looking up, like it was just so much commotion. I was terrified. I was so scared. Cause like never has anything like this happened to me. Like I've never, I haven't even been in a bad car accident, y'all. Like I, this, this, all of this is, everything that's happened to me is new. This is a first time experience for myself. So, um, I remember I just looked up and I'm looking at the sky. Um, there's some high rises. I'm looking at the top of Whole Foods roof and I'm just like, at this moment, I'm so scared because I don't know what happened. I'm being told not to move. I hear that the police is on their way and I just, I was so scared. I just started praying and I just remember just being like, God, please. And it wasn't even like a prayer. Like, it wasn't no Our Father, no Hail Mary. It was literally like me pleading with God. Like, like God, please, 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 please. Don't let nothing bad happen to me, Lord. Please, please, please. Like, it was like that type of prayer. And um, the ambulance people came. They put they um, they um put me on a board. And then they put me on a... On, they strapped me down. They strapped me down to a board. They immediately put this thing on my neck. They just strapped me, like, all the way down to, like, my leg. And then they put me in the ambulance. Y'all, when they put me on that board and moved to the ambulance, I guess because I don't know if I moved or what, I felt all the pain at that moment. And I just started 
hollering. I just remember crying and screaming and hollering. And the ambulance man, the EMT guy that was in the, um, the EMT guy that rode an ambulance with me to the emergency room, he was just the sweetest thing ever. Like, he was so patient. He was so kind. He was like, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He was like, just stay with me. And I was in so much pain, and I'm like this. <sighs> like, I'm trying to breathe through the pain, but I'm crying too. Like, I'm just, I was just a mess, y'all. And he allowed me to hold his hand. Like, he let me squeeze his hand the whole ride to the emergency room. So um, they, they rushed me to the nearest trauma ER, and I just remember um, laying there in pain. And I just remember, next day I know, the moment I got into the hospital, it was like so many people. Like, it was like one doctor, like, it, it was like a scene in a movie. There was one doctor, he had like a flashlight in my eye. You had um, them like just looking at me, um, like they will me. Then next thing I know, once they finally got me to like the room tree, I, just, I had on a dress. They cut me up out my dress. They cut my dress down the middle. They um, started patching things like all over me. They were clipping things on my finger. They immediately, immediately, they started drawing my blood. They took blood from me. Um, yeah, like it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot of people in there. It was a lot going on. And y'all, I'm not, not, not only am I scared, I'm nervous, I'm scared. And I just hear him like, oh my God, her, I keep hearing a whisper about her leg, her leg. So I'm like, oh shit, my leg. And that's the, that's the main thing I felt pain on. Like everything hurt it, but my, my leg, it was like, it felt like fire. It felt like, like my leg was on fire. Like it was just a burning sensation I felt. And I'm going to be honest with you. I thank God, but y'all, I thought I lost my leg. My leg was in so, I have never in my life felt pain like that. Like, I really thought I lost my leg. Whew, thank God, I really thought that. So anyway, long story short, um, they went ahead, they did um, x-rays on me from the room. This man came with this machine, and he just went all over my body, he x-rayed it. And then the doctor came in, and the doctor, yeah, the doctor, I didn't know she was the doctor at first, but she came in, and she was like, she just looked at me. She laid on me. She was like, she complimented me on my teeth. She was like, you have nice teeth. I was like, thank you. She was like, I just met your sister. Your sister's about to get, charged, get discharged. She was like, your sister has nice teeth as well. And I'm like, okay, thank you. And she goes, she's like, I'm looking at your x-rays and I see nothing broken. And I'm just laying there. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. Like, you know, I'm like, nothing's broken. Oh, at this point, I'm drugged up. They um, they gave me medicine. And it's not nothing that I took, like, orally. It was something that they inject. Like, it, they did it through, like, an IV. So, now I'm sedated. So, I'm sedated now because I hollered and screamed until they gave me medicine. I was in so much pain. Um, So, I'm sedated. I'm just laying there. And she's like, yeah, nothing's broken. And she's like, that's odd. She said, because I'm looking at your leg. And that's clearly broken. And I'm like, okay okay like you know I'm like okay so she said um we're gonna she said I'm gonna sit in or, or she's I'm about to go submit in some order she was like you're gonna go get a CT scan a CAT scan I'm like okay you know I'm laying there. I'm like I can't do anything oh shit I'm here so um now two ladies came and now mind you the whole time I'm there I'm laying this way so I never saw my leg I can't see my legs so um um, two nurses came and they um, put me on a board again and put me on another bed and then they wheeled me to where the CT scan was and at this point um, they cut me out my dress so I'm in like a hospital gown but it's not tied in the back it's just over me and thank god I had matching I know this is random but I thank god I had matching underwear and bra like cause they cut me out I, I really can't believe they cut my dress but I get it but I'm just like <gasps> like you know like oh my goodness like you know like but whatever so um so they took me into the room and when they got when they put me in a little it's like a tunnel thing they put you under when the nurse um pulled the sheet back i saw blood on the sheet and that's when i saw that my leg had been that that's when i saw that my leg i had like a bunch of like i had open wounds like it's i think it's called road rash so i had road rashes i guess when i hit the ground or whatever so um that was that. Oh, so then they, 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 they put me back together. I said, put me back together. Put me back in the bed, and they brought me back. And at this moment, my sister had just been discharged. So her and her nurse are waiting for me in a room. And then um, they're waiting for me in a room. 
And then the doctor, some time has passed. Um, this, at this point, our phones are dead. <laughs> at this point, our phones are dying. So now we have um, the hospital phone where people are calling us from the hospital phone. Because at this point, my sister didn't tell people, like, this is the hospital, you know, that they took Carolyn to. That they took, you know, they, that, that they took me to. So, um, that happened. After a CT scan, the doctor comes back and she's like, you're blessed. And I'm like, why? She was like, because your CT scan shows nothing broken again. She was like, this time, she said, I do see a fracture in your um, fibula. She was like, it's a fracture at the head of your fibula. She was like, but it looks like, because what happened is I have a leg hematoma. So that big lump that sits that is, is really underneath my knee it looks like my bone may have been broken and my bone is poking out but it's not my bone it's literally just a pool of blood and um it's a bruise it's literally a razor it's like a bump it's like a big oval on my leg or whatever like that so um she was like um we're gonna discharge you she said um she was like give me your pharmacy we need to send medicine she was like because you're gonna be in pain because I was already in pain before they gave me the medicine. But she was like, you're going to be in pain. She was like, you're going to be in a lot of pain. And she was like, you need to go see an orthopedic doctor. Those are your next steps. I'm like, okay. So she immediately sent my prescription. By the time I got discharged, which was like the next day, um, my sister went to go pick up my prescription. And y'all, I was in so much pain. So much pain. The medicine she prescribed me, I'm not going to state what it was. But y'all, I, I like... I don't take medicine. I'm not a medicine girl. Like, if I have a headache, I'm not going to say, oh, let me take ibuprofen. I'm going to, like, drink some tea and, like, lay down. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I just am not a medicine girl. But, y'all, I needed this medicine. And I was prescribed to take it once every four hours. Y'all, because I can't walk, I can't move, my leg is, like, all the way up to my knees, like, bandaged. I literally am just falling asleep. The medicine is making me so drowsy that I'm literally taking it every four hours and falling asleep. I'm sleeping through my pain. Like, I'm literally sleeping through my pain. Because if I'm up, I'm miserable. So, that, that was like that first two weeks. Like, the first two weeks of me being discharged. Um, well, the first week. I'm sorry, the first week. Because I end up going to see the orthopedic doctor. I make it to the orthopedic doctor to like that Friday. And he, and the first thing my mom was like, cause my mom had to take off to take me to the doctor. She was like, we need to get her off this medicine. Like the first thing's first, she has to get off this medicine. So they took me off this medicine. They prescribed me something way lighter. Um, the orthopedic doctor immediately after looking at my leg and rebandaging it because oh girl, it was a mess when they cut me out of whatever emergency room wrapped me in. Um, they immediately were like, oh my God, we need MRIs done. So they scheduled me to get MRIs and the MRI shows basically like what happened. Y'all have a lot of tissue damage. So, um, I'm just trying to wrap it up. Like my update, I don't want to make this a long video. I just want to give you like a little update of like how my life is going right now. So I have a lot of internal tissue damage and, um, I have my, a tilt, a tilt in my knee. That's crazy. But, um, and I have an endenma. So anyway, let me just tell you. So right now, I currently have to go to therapy three days a week. Physical, It's physical therapy three days a week, but it's laser. Like they're lasering my leg because my leg is so swollen. And so it's still very much bruised. Like you see, like if I show like one leg, my legs don't look the same. This is what I'm going to say. Clearly, one has a lot of roll rash. I still have that hematoma. It's gone. It's gone down, but it's not. It's still visible. It's not as big as it once was, but I still have a huge hematoma. Um, my even though my injury is at my knee, anytime I stand up or if I sit down where my knees, like if I sit in a chair, like right now, I'm laying on the sofa, so my legs are like this, and I have ice on it to help the hemo the hematoma. But if I sit down, like, where my legs are, like, folded, like, in the chair, or if I stand for, like, for a long time, literally my foot sweat, my foot and my ankle, like, I have, like, my ankle has, like, a big, like, my ankle has, like, a hole, in, not a hole, but it's, like, a, it looks like a bubble, and then my foot swells up, so it looks like, <laughs> the best way I could describe it is, like, when you blow a balloon, and the balloons that have the fingers, like, my feet look like that, like, my foot is, like, 
it's puffy at the top, so it's hard for me to wear regular shoes. Um, I'm literally wearing like I'll show y'all this foot. This is my good foot. <laughs> I'm literally just wearing like house slippers. Cause those are easy for my feet and it doesn't touch the, the top of it because the top of my foot is just puffy and swollen. That's it. And it hurts. Like it hurts whenever like it feel it it, it gets tight. That's what it is. It gets tight and it hurts. <sighs> so long story short, I have right now I'm currently in therapy, physical therapy, but they're not even doing the physical part. They're doing laser because they're trying to laser like the fluid out. So I'm constantly drinking water and pineapple juice using the bathroom frequently to get the fluid out. But my doctor was like, this is just something that takes time. He was like, don't like not the rush it, but he was like, it literally takes time for flu. Like I have an injury, something traumatic happened to me. Your body is not going to recover just like this. This is something like over time it would, you know, it's going to heal. So I do physical therapy, laser therapy three times a week. Um, I just started mental therapy because y'all, I have been so stressed out. Like my face has broken out. Everything has stressed me out. Like not only the PTSD of just thinking about walking out of a store and getting hit that, that right, that plays a, it is it, playing tricks on me. Not only that, but it's also the fact of like, there was something else that happened to me that was traumatic and I don't want to jump into it, but it's just, it's just, every time I think of something, I get stressed out, is what I should say. So, I'm starting mental therapy with that. So, yeah, I just wanted to, um, that's all I really want to do. I just wanted to get on here and just give an update of, like, what's been going on with me, my road to recovery, um, why I haven't, like, posted anything, like, y'all, it's just that, I, like, I low-key been going through it, y'all. Like, seriously, like... <sighs> I just been going through it. And then I think the worst thing that sucks is, like, even right now, like, just the ability, like, I can't do, like, the things that I used to do. It's the little things that I, you take for granted. Like, being able, like, I just, just... When I tell you just have been able to take a shower... Do you know how hard it is? Like, I, I, I'm a girl that loves her shower routine. Like, I exfoliate. I use different products on myself. Like, I am a, I, I take my hygiene very, very seriously. And not that I was dirty, but it's just the simple fact, like, I could not get my leg wet. I could not stand <laughs> to get my leg wet. Like, I literally had, shout out to my mom and my sister. You know, those, my mom and my sister had to bathe me. My sister had to wash my hair. Like, I, I had braids for the longest, and I took my braids out. But literally, I took my braids out. That's when I recorded the first one. That was just a couple of days ago. I took my braids out, and my sister had to wash my hair. Like, it's just, like, little things that you take for granted that this has, like, put in perspective for me. But I don't keep this video long. I just want to give a live update that, yeah, I've been hit by car. I got hit by car. I am on my road to recovery. And, um... I don't know. I just, y'all, this video, I'm so sorry if this life update is like all over the place, but it just shows you like where my mind is at right now. Like I, my mind is not like, there's not y'all. Like I have just gotten, to, I, I literally cry every day. There's not a day. I don't cry. <laughs> it's not a day. I don't cry. Like I cried this morning during therapy, but like, and that is why, like, I was like, I got to get back in therapy because y'all it's, it's just not like my mind it's just like literally all over the place. Um, I do not sleep at night. <laughs> I don't know why. I am wide awake at night, but during the morning or like as soon as I come home from therapy, I think I'd be so exhausted. That's when I sleep. So I get my sleep in around like 6 to like 10 p.m. No, I'm going to say 6 to 1 p.m. 6 p.m. to like 1 p.m. 1, 1 